Hi, I'm Luke with Trimble Construction Support, and today we'll be going over harness troubleshooting. In order to perform harness troubleshooting, you'll need a multimeter, a Deutsch tool, and you'll also need the machine powered on and running. Checking voltage is a troubleshooting technique used to verify that there is power throughout the system. You will need to know the total voltage of the system in order to verify that you're receiving readings within tolerance. You can start at the source or anywhere in the system to ensure that you have the required voltage needed to power the system. Here we have two 12 volt batteries in series, meaning the two readings combined will add up to approximately 24 volts. We have 12.54. 12.55 You can check for voltage on any cable in the system that is coming from the source. You just need to ensure that the machine is powered on. Here we are checking voltage at the 4-pin Deutsch that connects to the splitter for the blade sensor and rotation sensor on this 140M3. The red lead goes in the top left pinhole and the black lead into the top right. If you are unsure which is which, you can open up the back of the connector to look for the corresponding wire. The voltage for this system The voltage for this system is 27.67 volts, which is allowable in a 24 volt system, plus or minus a few volts. Another troubleshooting technique is the wiggle test. The wiggle test is exactly what it sounds like. You will go up to a cable and wiggle it to see if you have any loose connections. Uh, the wiggle test is good to use if you notice any kind of uh, sensors dropping in and out intermittently and it can be used to determine if that cable is good or not. This is an example of the wiggle test where there's a good connection with the cable and the sonic tracer is still connected. So I'll just go up to the connection and I'll wiggle it. As you can see, the sonic tracer is still connected. Here's another example of a, the wiggle test to determine if you have a bad cable. Up here I'll start wiggling around I can see there's a little more movement than the other side. So I'm going to take this off. As you can see we have a bad connection as far as the actual mounting for this side of the water grater. Checking the harnessing, cabling, and the connections is a good technique to use, especially if you're having intermittent issues on any of the product. You want to check the harnessing and cabling to make sure that you have no wear and tear or cuts in the line. You also want to make sure you don't see any additional splices into the harnessing. As far as the connections, you want to make sure that the pins are seated right and they're pinned out correctly. You also want to make sure there's no dirt or corrosion. An example of good pin seating is having the pins align an even height and the locking clips on the inside are aligned with the pins themselves. This is an example of the pins being seated improperly. When you look, you can see it looks like the pins are pushed in and only about a quarter inch of the pin is showing. Other things to look for for a good connection is you have your green placekeeper installed, you have your rubber seal, your orange cap. There's no dirt and there's no corrosion in the area. Another troubleshooting technique is checking the ground connection. You'll want to make sure that the ground is seated between two pieces of unpainted metal. You also want to make sure that that metal is corrosion free and dirt free.
When picking a ground connection point, you want to find a spot that is corrosion free, dirt free, and you also want to make sure you find a spot where the resistance is under 0.5 ohms. The closer to zero, the better. Another way to check if you have proper grounding in the system is to take the black lead and put it in the negative terminal in the battery and the red lead on the ground of the connection and you're looking for 0.5 ohms or less. A good example of a bad ground connection is what we see here where you have mud and you have painted metal and it's all also in an area where you see corrosion.